Chelsea, I believe we're going to have a couple squad plays today. That's what it looks like to me. Where are you going first? <sighs> well, I've been going back and forth on this one. I want to play a total over in this Yankees and Blue Jays matchup, but I'm just trying to navigate the juice because this line has been moving all morning. So I'm going to go with the Yankees and Blue Jays. First five over four runs. I think this is the way to play it when you don't trust either starting pitcher. Garrett Cole going for the Yankees and has not been good against the Blue Jays so far this season. I think he can give up a couple runs here for a Blue Jays team that still has something to play with. Uh, play for, I should say. And then looking at the Yankees, some people are going to say, well, they were up celebrating. You know, they just clinched the AL East. But still, there was somebody on their team who is certainly playing for something. Aaron Judge is not going to be sitting out this game. He's still going for home run number 61. And plus, you've got Mitch White going, who's been an absolute disaster for the Blue Jays. I think the Yankees can square off on uh, Mitch White, who's 1-6 with a 5-12 ERA this season. And also, last night, I had the over in this game. And it's not like these teams were not getting on base. In fact, they had 13 runners left on base last night. It was just a matter of cashing them. So I think eventually they can actually get them across the plate. So let's go first five over four runs for the Yankees and the Blue Jays. All right. My best bet is going to be Braves Nationals. And I'm going to go over eight runs, which is used to minus 130. I mentioned Jake Odorizzi Yee. going up against Josiah Gray. It's time to fade both of these starting pitchers. Jake Odorizzi has given up, I don't know how many runs in his last few outings. Last outing, I can tell you, he gave up eight runs and 10 hits in just four innings against the Phillies. And he has not been great since coming over from the Astros. You look at Josiah Gray, he has an ERA over eight in September across four starts, Chelsea. In fact, when these Two teams meet in D.C. The over is 8-2 and two in the last 10. I'm buying the hook on the total. Laugh all you want. It saved me twice in the past week. I don't think it's too much juice to lay here. Over eight runs, Braves and Nats in D.C. Minus 130 at BetMGM. Yeah, I'll be on that one too. But first, let's get to the eight ball. Holy crap. Magic eight ball. That's right. It's time to ask the Magic 8-Ball that we got from a toy store if he's ta uh, tailing or fading our bets today. So let's start with mine. First five over four runs. Yankees, Blue Jays. Do we like it? 8-Ball says, very doubtful. Cool. That's mm. how my luck has been when it comes to baseball. <laughs> All right. How about Jinx's play? Over eight in the Braves and the Nats game. Do we like it, 8-Ball? 8-Ball says, my reply is no. Great. Uh, great. Just great. Whatever. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, 8-Ball. You're probably, if you're ranking the most important parts of the show, I would say the 8-Ball is 71st. If you want to watch us or watch Chelsea exclusively on Twitch, you can. Just go to twitch.tv slash betql. That is twitch.tv slash betql. She bets. She holds the 8-Ball. And this weekend, she's even taking care of her kid on her own. Chelsea does it all. Just go to twitch.tv slash betql. I don't know why I had to throw that in. Okay, we've got more bets to make. Before we do that, guess what it's time for? It is time for Matt Fasani's Playoff Push Producer Parlay. Woo! Sponsored by BetMGM, the king of parlays. Matt does a great job on this show. And Matt, we're going to bring you in. I love this parlay. So give us your picks and the reasoning behind them. Yeah, so my parlays haven't been that great on this show, but the ones I don't play on the show have been doing relatively well. Um, so trail with caution, but I'm doing a playoff push parlay, going with the Mariners' money line, minus 165 versus Martin Perez and the Rangers. Uh, George Kirby's on the mound for the Mariners. It's not my favorite play of this parlay, but the Mariners are holding on for dear life for their playoff spot. First one in like 20-something years. So I think they're going to be putting all of it out there today, especially um, – so look for them to win. Braves money line versus the Nationals. Obviously, the Mets money line versus the Marlins. Both those two teams tied first in the NL East. So they both really need to beat these significantly lesser opponents. Brewers money line minus 145 versus the Cardinals. Cardinals clinched the Central last night. Brewers are hanging on for dear life as well for that final playoff spot. And then, actually, no, they're one and a half games behind the Padres for the final playoff spot. So they really, really need wins. And then we have the Rays money line plus 105 versus the Guardians. Guardians, not much to play for. They're already clinched the AL Central. They can't get the ALDS by with the Yankees winning last night. Meanwhile, the Rays are stuck at 
position number two, looking to, to take that top wild card spot from the Jays. So I'm looking for Tyler Glass now to have a decent first start back and lead the Rays on the way to victory. And that five leg parlay pays out a nice handsome 11.26. So a $25 bet will pay you $306 plus. So one more time, I'll go over it for you. Mariners money line minus 165. Braves money line minus 250. Mets money line minus 190. Brewers money line minus 145. And the plus money play is the Rays money line plus 105 for a plus 11.26. Matt, I noticed I like- there's a team not in there. Why aren't the Blue Jays in there? Is it because you're a Yankees fan? Well, that that and I just don't feel very confident in Mitch White. I was going to put the mm. Orioles in there too at even money, but like they're borderline in the playoff race, so I didn't include them. Um, but those are the two outliers. Yeah, like I said, I, think- I kind of like the Orioles today, but mm, going against Rich Hill is not something I love doing. Well, Chelsea, yeah, just like Matt- Derek Holt versus White, not great. Great job on that. Good luck on your parlay. Again, odds of a little over 11 to 1. Chelsea, I know you have another play as well. And what might that be? Yeah, I'm going conservative like you, Jinx. And I'm playing an alternate total in that Braves Nats game over eight from minus 130. Really think both of that's uh, get it going here. Usually when Josiah Gray is going for the Nats, I would like to say that he has top end stuff and maybe he can miss some bats here. But the thing is, he hasn't even been striking out that many players or that many batters in his last four starts. Four strikeouts or fewer in all of those, and those are against uh, some teams that aren't good. If you give up four runs and back-to-back starts against the Marlins, how do you think you're going to fare against the Braves? So I like the over in that one as well. Jake Odorizzi, enough said. We all know he can give it up. So let's go the over eight in the Braves and the Nats game. Squad play. I. Squad play, let's do it. I got a couple more bets for you before we get to the Donkster. We have the Rays and the Guardians today. I'm going Guardians on the money line at minus 125. Tyler Glass now making his season debut for the Rays facing Tristan McKenzie. Glass now is great, but he's not going to go long in this one as he recovers from offseason surgery. Tristan McKenzie has been unbelievable lately. The Guardians have won his last four starts. He has not allowed more than three runs in any of his last nine appearances. I expect a low-scoring game, but the Guardians are 18-3 and three in their last 21. This is a great price on Cleveland. Guardians minus 120 on the money line. And I'm going over on the full game between the Yankees and the Blue Jays just because Mitch White has been absolutely god-awful. He's given up 24 earned in his last 22 innings. Garrett Cole, I don't trust him. Has not been great in his last three starts. Has given up at least four runs in in each let's go over seven and a half that's minus 125 at that mgm let's do your bet ql five star best bet for insight analysis historical trends and more five star best bets you can download the bet ql app let me grab the donkster he's right here chelsea i hate to say this now it's early in the week let's not get carried away but the donkster is undefeated this week two and oh donkster you're undefeated. No blemishes on your record. The microphone is yours. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Dad, I'm red hot. Two in a row. Smoking hot. That's not smoking hot. That's just a couple <laughs> wins, Doctor. Who are you on today? The doctor says, Phillies and Cubs over seven. Three and no. Oh. Doxter's on the heater. I can't believe you're referring to yourself in third person, Doxter. No one's that good. Chelsea, will you tell the Doxter? Phillies Cubs over seven. He's won two straight. Didn't the Phillies Cubs game in like 2 1 yesterday? Yeah, sure no. Did. I'm not on that. <laughs> I know Aaron Dunkster. Nola's pitching, so maybe, but nah. We're going to find out, Doxter. I hope you lose. No way you go undefeated this week.